in this lesson I will draw cerebellum from frontal point of view. So this over here is the pedunculi of the flocculus. Now as we draw step by step it may not make sense immediately but after we draw the complete cerebellum it will make more sense. So here this is the flocculus. So we have the pedunculi of flocculus and we have the flocculus over here. Then we have the cerebellar pedunculi, vellum, and the pedunculi. They create the borders of the fourth ventricle. The fourth ventricle is the space over here. It's more like a bag and it's full with a cerebrospinal fluid. The vellum creates the roof of this fourth ventricle. The superior pedunculi creates also here the roof, but as we go further and closer to the medulla oblongata, it goes more lateral, so it creates the upper lateral border of the fourth ventricle. If this doesn't make sense, just imagine that pedunculi do not end here. This is a cut, we made a cut here. But they continue and they connect with the medulla oblongata, with the spinal cord, they send fibers and they receive fibers. Those are the bundles of nerve fibers that we have cut. For example, the fibers that carry information from cerebellum to the midbrain, they go through the superior one. The middle one contains usually the fibers coming from the nuclei of the pons and they end in the cerebellar cortex. Those fibers group in superior, inferior and deep ones. We will talk about that later. The inferior one connects the cerebellar with the spinal cord and mandula oblongata. Let's draw further. This over here is the uvula and this over here is the pyramid of the vermis. Now vermis, let me draw the complete vermis. All this is vermis. Up there we have the central lobe and we have the lingula of the cerebellum. All that belongs to vermis. Now beside vermis there are also two hemispheres, the left one and the right one. Let's draw them. Okay, so these are the part of the hemispheres above the horizontal fissure. So this is over here would be horizontal fissure. Also we have parts of hemisphere below the horizontal fissure. On these parts of hemisphere we can notice the tonsilla here and the volecula over here. Volecula is just this space over here. If you can remember this border over here, this part was called the pyramid of the remis. And the lateral border are the tonsilla of the cerebellum. Now with a little bit of Photoshop this is how it looks like. And let's rewrite this all down. We had the vellum, we had the superior cerebellar pedunculi, the inferior cerebellar pedunculi, and the middle cerebellar pedunculi. Then we had the central lobe and over here the lingula of cerebellum. Over here we had the uvula and this over here was the pyramid of the remis. This fissure over here was called the horizontal fissure. Space over here was the fourth ventricle. Then we had the vallecula, the tonsilla, we had the flocculus, and this part over here was called the nodulus. The nodulus and flocculus create the flocular nodular lobe. 
but I will talk about the lobes of the cerebellum in the fourth video about the cerebellum. To watch the video about cerebellum from the cranial perspective, please check out the next video. If you like my drawings and my videos, my lessons, please check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com.